Hello, Packin here. And if you own one of these uh, Dell M1730s, you might need to uh, worry about cooling because if you look at several websites, uh, forums, they have problems with the cooling. And in order to uh, fix this problem, uh, you need to have a software that's able to uh, manipulate the fan speeds to have better cooling uh, for your video card and your CPU. So in order to do that, you need to have these three recommended software. You need the i8K Fan GUI and uh, DSEO 13B. This allows you to change the registry to accept the 18K Fan GUI. Um, I'm running Windows 7 Ultimate Edition, so you really need to uh, use these two recommended programs. All right, we will first run the DSEO 13B. Hit next, yes. Um, enable it in test mode. Let it restart the computer. The reason you want to run that program was to uh, make sure you are able to change the registry on the laptop so you can enable manipulation of the fan. You cannot use the i8K fan GUI um, as a software by itself um, because you're going to have issues where where the fan is is uh, is currently running on passive and it's not going to it's gonna it's not gonna manipulate to whatever high performance you want on it so you want to uh, use that software to change the registry on the computer so you can run a uh, a fan controller software that enables you to change um, whatever speed you want on the on the computer and that's very handy because if you don't have if you don't have the software, you're going to run into very, um, very high um, overheating issues. So this software is a must-have. You have to have this software when you have this laptop. Okay. You can tell from the logo that it now has a test mode Windows 7 build, and now we can run the 8 fan GUI. We run the program. Okay, so you gotta run this application first. Uh, first, Let's try right-clicking when as admin. Okay. All right, now let's start with the driver first. When as admin. Alright, so you double click the fan inst, um, install the driver, you need to uh, have a path, you have it on the system 32. Okay, you hit install, uh oh, that's uh, shoot, where is admin?
Okay. Then after that is done, you close it. You go back. You run it, run as admin. And there you go. Now you're able to have the software up and running. You can force the fans on high. You can hear all that. Um, to enable these settings for the RPMs on the fan speeds, you can go to options. Oh, there you go. You want to read GPU temperature and you want to read the first and the second fan. And then you could see the RPMs in the software. Now let's uh, let's try to do it under automatic settings. So you want to set the automatic to normal and then hit options. You want the you want to have no change on all of this. You want to enable the first fan. Okay, you want to uh, set it to 25 degrees Celsius at 20. That's my recommendation. You could always change it if you want to. Put on the slow. Then from 25 to 255, I'd rather have it to 35. Then 35, you can always change it to 50 or whatever. I change it to 50. And anything that's above from 50 to uh, 75, I usually go fast. So anything that's critical temperatures around this area from 35 degrees Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius, you want to uh, you want to have the fans to be fast. Enable the, second, uh, enable the second secondary fans, you want it to no change so you don't have a discrepancy with the fans being um, slow or fast. Um, which means that you have this running fast, but this other fan is trying to go uh, slow and it's going to cause a little compromise and you can hear the sound difference. In the GPU, you want to enable this first controller, you want to enable both of them. This one you want to have no change on all of them, but this one you want to hit slow um, for 40 degrees. Uh, make it 20. Make it 20. 20 to 30 degrees. Anything that's somewhere between 20 and 30 degrees Celsius. I like to keep it round numbers. And let's start with 30. Forty, seventy, eighty, fine. But you want this to run fast, fast. So anything from thirty degrees to forty is gonna run pretty critical. And uh, yeah, push OK. And uh, and there you go. Anytime you, um, anytime you, you uh, start up, you would automatically have this setting right now you can see that it's currently at 24 degrees uh, celsius which is really cool um unbelievably cool cool so um this stuff this stuff the chill factor 3 actually works i love this stuff it keeps my cpu cool keeps my overclocking um cpu to be cool